Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm looking at my face in the viewfinder and it looks really weird. I ran out of foundation like three days ago and I've been using concealer as a like foundation alternative. Oh my god, my eyebrows look crazy as well. And now I've run out of concealer, so I was using <laughs> Urban Decay eyeshadow primer on the whole of my face. I mean it works really well and my face feels like rock solid like I can't move it. But it does look a bit strange especially in the camera so I'm hoping that once I get changed into a different outfit and I've done the eyeshadow it won't look so crazy but yeah don't use eyeshadow but primer all over your face it's just something I'm doing to budget myself for now. Since I've already got eyeshadow primer all over my eyelids what I'm going to be doing today is reviewing Boots' collection of Harry Potter makeup bits and they also have bath bombs, bath fizzes, things like this, they are also amazing. I'll insert a clip right here of the bath bomb that I purchased. I did want to buy the Golden Snitch one as well, however my friend stopped me and I only was able to buy the Hufflepuff one. But if you want to get me anything for Christmas people, you know where to go. <laughs> Boots have released this range. This is a Hufflepuff eyeshadow palette. It was $12.99, as you can see on the front here. It's just got the uh, badger here. It's all golden, it says Hufflepuff on it. It's very cute, small packaging. Just a tiny little eyeshadow palette. $12.99, you might be thinking, is a bit steep, but I guess it kind of depends on the quality of it, and also just the thought of having a Hufflepuff-themed eyeshadow palette just excited me so much. Always wanted something like this. Uh, and yellow is my favorite color, everyone knows. Hello. You have, obviously, a mirror which I think is pretty cool. Um, this mirror also very much slims your face down which I love. <laughs> We've got the yellow lines for Hufflepuff, it says dedication, patience and loyalty at the bottom and then you've got the crest of the Hogwarts school badge as your mirror. Oh hello! <laughs> and then obviously you've got the actual eyeshadows, you've got this golden, oh we've got to do this beauty guru shit now. We've got this golden colour here, I mean you can see for yourselves, like it's all very glittery, shimmery shades and I just love the layout, it reminds me of professional eyeshadow palettes that I cannot afford because if it's not very pigmented and it doesn't look very good I'm going to be very upset, however it's also very much worth the money. And alongside that I keep looking at myself and I look so bad. Ooh! <laughs> I bought this Harry Potter makeup brush set. They don't look the best of quality, I'm not going to lie to you, but I got it more for the fact of these are Harry Potter ones and it's very cool. They're all shaped in different wand shapes. Um, as you can see, there's the Elder Wand, Voldemort's wand, Harry's wand is here somewhere. I think it's this one. This is Hermione's wand and the middle one I'm pretty sure was Ron's wand. I've been trying to figure that out. I think it is. A crease cosmetic brush, which is obviously for the crease in your eye for eyeshadow. A fine line cosmetic brush which you would use for eyeliner and things like that but I never use brushes like this or you can use it for lip gloss. Shadow cosmetic brush obviously just for normal eyeshadow on the lid. A shading cosmetic brush which is obviously blending and then a fan brush. Yeah it is from Weasley's oh my god it literally says on the back. This was £20 and as you can see it's supposed to be gifts for people for Christmas but I don't care, I will buy myself my own gifts. If these ones are good, I might buy more when I get paid, but we'll see. They have so much cool stuff in Boots at the moment. They had a set of like the burn book from Mean Girls. They had a whole thing for that that I want to buy for myself and for my sister. They have so many themed like makeup collections in Boots at the moment. I definitely recommend you go out and try your local, local? Your local boots. I am not sponsored by them, I wish I was, but we're just going to get straight into it and I'm going to open this up and try these eyeshadows out. My eyebrows look so bad I can't even. I am going to start off, I don't actually have any ideas what I'm going to do. I think I should start with a light colour, maybe this one here on the middle, well all over the eyelid. I'm going to grab the Voldemort ah, brush here. As you can see, oh my god, they're very soft. I'm actually very impressed with that. I honestly thought they were going to be very cheap. Oh my god, there's thunder outside. No! I have to go out soon. So this is the Voldemort brush. It's got the little hook. Oh my god, please focus on it. It's very hard to focus on, but this is a Voldemort brush. It's exactly like his wand. It's a bit weird to hold because of the like bit on the end, but you know, it's feeling very soft on the back of my hand, so I'm very excited to try this out. We are going to start off with this light, ah, light 
shade here. Ooh, it's coming off very easily onto the brush. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, it's very nice. But we're just gonna put another layer in here. And as I'm doing this, I can see that hairs are coming off the brush. So maybe they are more for collectors. It's not too prominent, you can't see it too much. Also, this camera is very having a very difficult time right now focusing on me. I'm not sure if that's better or not, but I turned on my ring light because sometimes I forget to do that. As you can see, it's very shimmery. I'm just going to go ahead and do that on the other eye too. It doesn't seem to be a lot of fallout, which is very, very good, which you would expect from a palette like this. If I'm honest, I am not entirely pleased with it. I do think... It's good for how cheap it is. It's not like a Morphe palette or something, but yeah, I can see the shimmer on the eyelid. I've also got blackness here from my freaking... Oh no. Oh no, Rebecca, no. What is wrong with the lighting here? Hold on. After that, I am going to go in with this yellow shade here, which is very, very nice and sparkly. Usually I wouldn't start with all sparkly shadows. I would have matte shadows as on top first and then turn it into sparkly but for the purpose of this tutorial we're gonna see how these shadows act alone. This is the Elder Wand slash Dumbledore brush as you can see it is shaped like the Elder Wand it is very 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 cute. These are quite hard to hold I will say because of the shape of them. This one feels just as nice in quality and this is going to be for shading. Oh it goes on the brush very nicely. Try to put this Maybe all over the eye, just simply because the first one didn't really do much in terms of like it doesn't. All it looks is that my eyelids are a bit brighter. That it's not going on the lid as much, and um, it's definitely going to take a lot more work than the other shades, which upsets me. I do think that this is going to be more of just a collector's item than me actually using it, and it's definitely going to have to be one of those shadows that you build up because the pigment isn't really coming through on its own. Maybe it is better on camera, but to me, I can't see it too well. It turns out looking really nice at the end, but you kind of have to work with it for a little while before you get to that result, you know. So we're just going to go in for the fourth time, just because I'm not entirely happy, happy with the pigment and I want it to show through more. Try and get in the crease there. I know this is not what this brush is for, but that's what I'm going to try and do. I am thinking that I've been using the wrong brushes for certain things and I know a lot of people are going to come on here knowing their shit about makeup and be like you're using the crease brush for this and la 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 I don't really care, I'm just going with the flow, okay? It does look very very yellow as you can see, it's coming up a lot on the camera um, which is impressive to me because usually when I put on yellow eyeshadow it really doesn't show up at all and by the end of the day it's gone. So what I'm going to do next is, I'm probably going to use the wrong brush, but I'm going to use the Harry Potter wand brush. Oh my god, they're falling everywhere now. I'm definitely using the brushes for the wrong things, but it's okay, we're experimenting here. This orangey type shade, and I think what I'm going to do is just take this on the inner corner of the eye and in the crease a little bit and try and drag it up a little bit. Not too much dragged up because I will still want the yellow to show through and I don't want to ruin the lovely yellow colour we have going on here. The colours do come off very nicely onto the brushes. Um, I think different colours come out more often, more often, come out more pigmented than others. Um, but I do find that I haven't found a single yellow eyeshadow yet by any brand that is amazing so you know maybe I just need to spend more money I only need one dip in the brush and to just blend it in and it goes so well with the yellow like the colour match is incredible the pigment is great this brush is so so soft the Harry Potter wand brush is definitely my favourite so far of all the ones um, as you can see it's just blended so nicely and I'm not going to go over it anymore because wow that's incredible it just looks so good immediately. Maybe not amazing, but it, it, it to me looks very good. Most of the time when I do my makeup in the mornings, I feel like one side always comes out better than the other no matter what. We will go in with a slightly darker colour, which is this one, and I'm just going to do this on the very inner corner of my eyes. Very lightly tap on this shade, it's gone on the brush very nicely, and we're just going to go ever so lightly, just tap on the inner corner that's the only place I want it. Did you hear that? 
Oh my god, I don't want to go outside in this weather! You can see that looks incredibly dark. It looks way more blended in real life, I promise you. I do feel like this eye has gone worse than this eye, which really makes me sad. Ta-da! I do feel like this eye is slightly less like in your face and this eye is a bit more like pow, but it's okay. It's fine. The only one that I won't be reviewing is these two colours in this review just because I don't want to ruin my makeup look just for the sake of a review but I'm sure that they are just as good as the other colours I can imagine and I will be using them in other makeup looks so just watch out for that if I do another makeup video I doubt it because I'm very bad at them <laughs> and I can see in here in this mirror right here which I probably should have used you see where this eye is more is to be honest better blended and this is a bit more like in your face but I'm just going to leave it like that for now and we are going to test the fan brush for highlighter and the other brush for under the eye. I'm going to go in with my highlighter that is very very skanky and I should have stopped using years ago but I'm gonna go with the middle shade here like I always do and I'm just gonna just gonna do my my cheeks. Immediately I can see that this is not coming off as well onto this brush but I don't know if that's the highlighter or the actual brush. Yeah, not too happy with that. <laughs> this is not coming off at all. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but that looks terrible. But it's very flimsy and definitely the worst quality brush. Well, I'm not really a fan of highlighter brushes anyway, because I just don't think they ever give you that kind of shine that another brush can. And I'm very much someone that loves a lot of glow. It's like all or nothing with me. It's just, I always found using fan brushes to be just so annoying, like the technique, just everything about them, just... This brush is very soft, don't get me wrong, it just feels like it's doing absolutely nothing. Honestly, I just feel like I'm just stroking a brush on my face for no reason. I mean, maybe other people could see it a lot, it's just I like a lot of highlighter. So then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Illuminated Highlighting Stuff. And I'm just going to see if that works even more because this is very glittery. Yes, immediately that is all over it. And we're just going to... Oh yes, that is much better. I feel like it depends on the product you're using as well. Um, I always go over with this just to make my highlighter more glittery. Because it's never glittery enough for me. <laughs> even so, I can still see how the brush just looks very cheap and just is coming out of shape as I'm doing it. And... I don't know, I'm just not the biggest fan of this. It does the job if you need to apply a light, natural highlighter that you don't want anyone to notice. Ta-da! I am going to try the Hermione Granger wand, which I knew was Hermione's immediately because I love Hermione's wand. It's one of my favourite wand designs. Um, as you can see, it's got that, like, twirliness around it. It just looks so cool. Like, I love Hermione's wand. I am disappointed that hers had to be a fine line brush that I'm probably never going to use. I don't know anyone that uses a fine line brush. But here we go, we're going to do it for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm going to grab the yellow and go on the inner corner and down here to make it blend with the top eye and then I'm going to take this colour and this colour and just, just make it blend with the top pretty much. This is not good. This is not showing up on my skin at all. I know this is not what you're meant to use the fine line brush for but Jesus. I just got one of the brush hairs in my eye and Oh, that killed. Um, I don't, I can't see any difference, like, at all, so I'm going to go in with the darker colour now here and see if that makes a difference, because the yellow doesn't show up anyway. As you can see, I'm done now. I've decided to shove my hair up, because as you could hear, it was thunder and lightning outside, and there's no point straightening my hair until later if I'm going out. The look looks so much better once I've put on mascara and done my hair. I was going to put on eyeliner to go with it, but I'm so poor I've run out of eyeliner too and I actually don't have an alternative for that so imagine this look with eyeliner it would probably look very very good I might put some on later I do definitely recommend that you try out this palette um, it's a very good price for such a cheap palette and as you can see the colours have come out quite pigmented and nice and I really wasn't expecting that I was expecting quite a poor turnout I'll say the palette is incredible, so if you want to use it with, I don't know, your Morphe brushes or whatever, I don't know why anyone with Morphe brushes would be using it, but if you want to use it with more expensive brushes or whatever, I do think that it will come out way better than you expect. Overall, a 9 out of 10 simply for price, 
packaging, um, collectible value and the pigment and the way that the eyeshadow doesn't fall out when you're using it is incredible and something that I've never been able to find in a cheap palette before and overall just the style of it and just the fact that it's Hufflepuff just makes me want to rate it super high regardless of how it is. I would suggest if you want to check out a palette and you're into yellow you can buy this one. All of the houses are available so if you want to get the entire collection go ahead. I just thought I would choose Hufflepuff for now because I'm very skin and Hufflepuff is the one that obviously stuck out to me the most because I am Hufflepuff and this is like my dream palette if I'm honest with you. The first one that I tried was obviously the Voldemort shaped wand brush. For the brushes overall and the way that they're designed to look like the ones I would give a 10 out of 10 because they're still quite easy to hold, they're a little uncomfortable in times but they're still quite easy to use as brushes despite being shaped like that. They're very realistic to the brushes, you can tell whose wand is whose for each brush. For this wand specifically, wand? <laughs> For this wand brush specifically, I would rate this 7 out of 10. It was very comfortable to use. I do think it's a little too big if you're going to be covering your whole eye in a colour, but I do imagine that this would be quite good for blending if that's what you're meant to actually use it for. So for blending, I think this would be a great, great usage. The Ron Weasley shaped one, again, um, for design, very cute. It's very simple, you might say that less effort has been put into this one, but Ron's wand in general is just very plain in design, so it's very accurate. Very, very easy to hold and to use. I would say I would give this a 5 out of 10 simply because the actual brush and the bristles, whilst they are soft and pretty looking, they are very flimsy when you're using it, um, hairs were coming out it was bending in ways it shouldn't be bending and to be honest even though I got a lot of product on the brush not a lot was transferring onto my face obviously this one is the Elder Wand Wand the Elder Wand Wand brush very great in design, very realistic you can definitely tell what kind of wand this is for anyone that's not even a Harry Potter fan very easy to hold regardless of the state it's in very good for compacting colour this is the best in order to get the pigment to really show up just use it to pat it on and it will do wonders for you I would give this an 8 out of 10 for use this one is the Harry wand which I think is by far the best brush in all of them again very realis realistic to his wand style very easy to hold and use I would give this a 9 out of 10 simply because it's so good for blending you get a lot of colour on there I didn't have any issues with fallout from the bristles or anything like that and the colour transferred, on, transferred onto it quite easily. And this one is the Hermione brush. It's very good in design wise, looks very pretty, you can tell it's Hermione's wand. It's one of my favourite designs simply because I love Hermione's wand. But usage wise I did not enjoy using this simply because I don't use fine brushes very much and if I'm honest not a lot of colour came off onto this and it took quite a few tries to actually get the colour underneath my eyes. I think it is meant to be used for more specific like lining of the eyeliner and stuff like that. So maybe it would be good for other people but I again would give this a 5 out of 10 just like Ron's wand so they really are soulmates even in makeup brushes. They both are just as useless as each other which I don't believe about the characters, they're both amazing. Please don't send me hate in the comments. Overall I'd give the entire collection uh, 8 slash 9 out of 10. Very good worth for your money, very good collector's items and if you want to check them out head to your local boots store. If you like this video you can like, you can comment and you can subscribe. I make new videos every single week or at least I try to and I will see you in my next one. Peace out!